Good morning dear friends greetings to you all in the name of our lord and savior jesus christ welcome to soul fuel morning meditations in english it's monday the 25th of january and the verse chosen for today's brief meditation is taken from the book of genesis chapter 50 verse 15 when joseph's brothers saw that their father was dead they said it may be that joseph will hate us and pay us back for all the evil that we did to him a family once decided to give a garden party they wanted to make it a memorable one so they invited everyone with engraved invitations the backyard of their home was manicured tables were decorated in the lawn and everything was splendid to look at they wanted this to be the event of the year the night before the party However the husband discovered to his horror that Mrs Phillips a close relative had been left off the invitation list he immediately dialed Mrs Phillips and said i'm sorry it was a terrible oversight and he pleaded won't you please come to the garden party anyway and this was what Mrs Phillips replied she said it's too late i have already prayed for rain and storm to destroy the party We have come towards the end of the Joseph story. After Joseph buries Jacob, he heads back to Egypt with his brothers. However, the brothers have a concern. Their father is dead and Joseph is still in power over them. Perhaps they feel that now will be the time of Joseph's revenge. It's quite possible that Joseph didn't mean it when he forgave his brothers and was only waiting until their father was gone. So they come to Joseph with a supposed request from their father. Would Joseph forgive the brothers for the wrong they did to him? The Bible records that he did. When this request was placed before him, we see Joseph weeps. Fearing the worst, the brothers begin to weep too. They threw themselves at Joseph's feet and asked to be his slaves, for they thought it is better that than death. But Joseph, to their surprise, turns to them and confirms his forgiveness joseph had not been holding on to the grudge all these years with his eyes on what god had done joseph was able to see how the lord had turned their wicked desires into good and so joseph decides to forgive the brothers had feared that the forgiveness was only temporary that it might hold for the moment but when the time was ripe joseph would bring out that old hurt that old injury that old grudge and use it against them they were afraid that joseph would forgive but not forget which really meant no forgiveness at all but just delayed retribution this is what the brothers feared joseph might be still holding a grudge he might say forgiveness but meant judgment later joseph my dear friends could have held the grudge because joseph had spent decades in prison and was ripped from his family the brothers got off not with punishment but with blessings of egypt given to them because of joseph's hard work joseph could have easily seen now as the time for revenge but instead he forgave and if we want health and life in our community in our church in our families we will need to learn what joseph did forgive 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 then forgive again for holding on to grudge will be nothing but poison to each and every one of us dear friends have you ever done that wherein you say you have forgiven someone but you hold that injury in your heart then weeks months years later you bring it up again as a weapon we say we forgive but it really means we just hold on to our pain to use it against the person later Can you join in this prayer along with me Heavenly Father when we have become offended in some way it's easy to hold a grudge against the person who's hurt us please help us to forgive the person for hurting our feelings help us to see the greatness in them and to love them the way that you do we pray and ask this in the name of the Father the Son and the Holy Spirit amen God bless you have a blessed day 
dear ones 